Hello and welcome to Let's Play Evil Genius with me, Grey Hunter. But we're doing post commentary this time because Audacity shat itself. So I'm sure I made some witty comment there before going, hang on, oh shit, what's happened? Just agents, all tagged for disinformation. And hopefully a valet will be along in a moment. Now we're off to uh, steal back that Ming that the Forces of Justice stole back from us. So, re-looting the loot. And I was making sure that I hadn't sent valets again, because I realized that that could quite possibly have happened, given my track record. Now, it's probably explaining something to do with training. Yes, seeing as we have the minion window open, I'm assuming that's what it was for. And probably something to do with the notoriety bonus as well. There's a valet, I think, running somewhere. And I was checking the security system here, I believe. Checking the coverage. Yep. And I decided that we'd put some loudspeakers into the new smaller barracks because we've got the. Uh, beds in there, so just in case a minion was sleeping and somebody had got into the base, hopefully they would be woken up and they'd run. I put one in the archives as well, but I put it on the uh, wall closest to the door because it doesn't need to cover the whole uh, area, as I was just demonstrating, because we don't have objects in the whole area. And I was checking that the forces of justice had disappeared. And we were going to steal the Ming. And I decided that what I'd do there was I'd leave the uh, forces that survived the active infamy and just use them as additional forces on the world map instead of bringing them all home. But, unfortunately, a lot of them died straight away. So that plan was a little bit scuppered. Oh dear. There's more intruders. We have to kill them. They've seen our guns. So the one who hadn't surprised, unfortunately, going, hang on, why are they shooting at me? And just checking back on the Ming. And we've lost intelligence because we don't have enough control panels. So that's a bit of a bummer. But, on the other hand, we got the Ming back. And I decided to relocate the remaining forces to the other, more profitable areas. I can't remember the breakdown. Ah, two workers to Saudi Arabia and two workers and a guard to Europe. there, obviously, from the mouse movements, the jerky mouse movements. I was explaining my uh, thoughts behind that. Now, what are we up to? I honestly don't know. I'm assuming that I was just waiting for them to kill him, because there was nothing else important going on. I could be wrong. Ah, I was looking for the Ming, so we could put it back in the control room. It's actually a Gratian urn, because in the files for the actual game, you see that the Mings were meant to be uh, European items. And they just obviously never bothered to change them to actual Mings. Now, I believe here is the point where I'm going to explain the trap system, and how if you buy traps, you can get combos from them and earn money quick scan over to the uh, world map just to make sure that we're still safe obviously. So these wind traps, uh, when they're activated they blow the enemy across the corridor so that can be quite handy for blowing them into other traps which is what I'm about to demonstrate the uh, ability to do now. So I have to remove that door that we just ordered because I need a spot to place the uh, pressure pads. So I remove the door and then I put the 
I try to fit it in somewhere else, but the build of the base of this area just doesn't work. So we abandon the door plan. I consider putting it down there, but uh, it would be too close together. And if someone went through one door, the other door would likely open quick enough for the agents of justice to get through. So I settled for building a poison gas chamber and a couple of pressure pads. And I link them up so that when the wind machines go off, they blow the enemy towards the uh, the poison gas chamber. Now I explained there that uh, when it goes light blue, it's showing a loop that will never end, which you can't actually create because the uh, game won't let you create a never-ending loop of traps. Well, it will, but it won't let you create them from one sensor. You can't just create a sen one sensor that powers the entire thing continually. So I decided to build a little, another little alcove, and I'm going to put traps in there and a security door that's on level 3, because agents of justice like to explore doors. And there we go, they've already got the traps built, and a technician decided to desert, so we decided to capture him. Because although he's low tier, at this point a technician is quite important, so I mistakenly clicked the kill tag before realising my mistake just in time, because that guard was showing up. And I'm talking now about where we could put another armory, filled with holding cells, and I spot these two ninjas just going about their business. So here I'm explaining how we need around 70 notoriety before we can find Nigel Ewing. So I'm scanning for uh, acts of notoriety that will increase our notoriety fairly quickly so we can go find him. So there I'm explaining where he is because he's, at the, he's in the Nile. In the Nile. <laughs> and collateral damage is the one that I settle on for the first mission. It's a risk four, so uh, the first time we actually fail because we were improperly prepared as evil geniuses. Well, as me as the evil genius and them as minions, I suppose. So I send off those forces. And I decide to dispatch Lord Kane and a few guards with them. No, Lord Kane must be going with the second batch. So Golden Opportunity is the other one we do, so that requires ten workers. I send them. It leaves us a little short with workers on the actual island, but that's okay. And here I'm explaining the game's quirky sense of humour. Die another day. It's a hair salon. And so there we can see the effectiveness of the trap. Oh no we can't. <laughs> I was mistaken. It must be at another point. But that ninja man made it all the way in there without being detected, and this guy made it into the armory almost. But that's okay. Because they didn't make it into the control room and they didn't suddenly steal back our goods. And there we go. This little alcove, we're going to build a door in it, set to security level 3. I realized my mistake after building it. So I go, I set up some more traps. We set up some more wind traps, essentially. That's all we put in there. It's because the uh, the wind will blow them into the door. It causes a little bit of damage. Not a terribly large amount, but a little bit. And for some reason, out to the menu. But there, you can see how it said nefarious for a moment there. That is one of the trap combo signifiers. You can get several levels of those and for each level you gain a certain amount of money. I'm not sure how much it is because I haven't really used traps all that much myself. Well, I use them but I don't really pay much attention to them mainly because I always have enough minions out in the world map to be stealing constantly and it doesn't really matter. So like now we've got almost 
500,000 in reserve. We're not going to spend all of that at once. We might have at the beginning when we were building our training room and all that sort of thing. But now we're at a much more stable uh, stage of the game and we don't need to spend as much. So I'm just waiting for them to head off and I spot an agent of justice. So there we go. And go with golden opportunity. And we set up collateral damage. Now it is a risk four and admittedly I should have prepared better but I forgot to. But they're doing alright. And so we just keep an eye on this one. But as you can see, our minions are dropping like flies. We've only got five of them left and half the time for the mission to go. And we've lost intelligence on the west coast of America, so we can't see how long it'll take to do with Golden Opportunity. But we're getting there, and we just lost intelligence on South America as well. So here I'm going, oh god, I hope that one of them survives, but no. Hello, meus amigos. Didn't happen. Lucia de Gama News Roundup, looking at eventos from San Rio to the Snowy Andes. But, on the other hand, we did finish that mission successfully, so we re uh, deployed the worker so we can earn a bit more money. And we send out a second set of forces. This time we send some guards and Lord Kane with them. And I'm Larry Driscoll. A couple of technicians, I believe. Yes. From California all the way up to Alaska. The story on everyone's lips today is the big felony committed earlier. No one knows who's responsible yet, but everyone's got a theory. Isn't that right, Bill? Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Even the penguins in Alaska got a theory, Larry. Penguins are from the South Pole, Bill. Damn it, Larry. Why do you always show me up on air? Oh, that Larry. Him and Bill. Him and Bill. I do really like the news items in uh, this game. They're brilliant. Most of them are quite funny. So there you go. Nefarious. Got a little bit of money for that. And again. Double nefarious. And I think to myself, who is this guy attacking? And then he just turns around and wanders off again. Because that's how the forces of justice roll. So that lady's a little bit suspicious now, one would think. But she's trapped. She's too uh, dazed to do anything about it, and she just keeps getting blown across. But one of our valets is helpful and escorts her out. Now this is probably about when I realize that I've restricted the door to level 3, which means that my guys can't get in there. They can't get in there to build, because level 3 is restricted to your evil genius self. And we find some Patriot burglars. And I figure it's about time to let our technician go. He's had time to think about what he's done. Alrighty, and we're stealing money again, which is excellent. We're just waiting for everybody to get out there into the world. Oh! Sorry, Mr. And ironically, we got trapped there for a second in the uh, trap interface. And again. <laughs> it's then that I realize you need to set the door security level lower. I'm a little bit worried about Mr. Ninja Man because he appears to have got rather close. To the security room. Uh, not the security room, the control room. And our forces have assembled. Go, Team Evil. I decide to just leave them there and the survivors will head out to different areas. And prepare to do nefarious deeds. Oh, Lord Kane bit the dust. So much for being fair at protecting his fellow minions. 
but we're going to make it this time, I think. Yep, and I'm probably counting down to myself now. Going, oh god, oh god, make it, make it. We've only got four minions left. Four minions, three seconds, two, one, success. I believe I decided to just bring them home because there's so few. So take that, Smash. Vote of no confidence. And we spot some minions, uh, not minions, tourists. Tag them for psychological weakening. Because for some reason they like to just wander into the base. I decide that we're going to pump up how many guards we have, I think. Or how much money we're spending on uh, acquiring new construction workers. No? I don't know. So I decide, though, that we need to do at least one more mission, so I'm scanning around. We could do Die Another Day, or Chinese Whispers, but I believe that I settle on burning the National Park in Australia. Well, we're scanning around, we're looking for things. I'd like to do The Sound of Music, but right now I don't get around to it. That'll happen in the uh, the next video. Not the next episode, because that's obviously part of this set, which I'll be post-commentating, but the next... Um, in the next set, we'll definitely do that. So bump up the amount of minions that we're going to have in here, because I'm getting a little bit sick of not having enough control panels manned, especially because each one requires two. It doesn't matter so much when each control panel uh, becomes a control console, I think it is. I think that's what they call it, and you require only one person to sit at it, but right now it's a little bit concerning because there's usually only the one person sitting at each one. So I'm still wondering how long will the sound of music take, but we don't actually get that info on there, that's why I'm watching the uh, control room hoping that someone will sit down long enough, but nobody ever does, so we decide to go to a different mission. And then a Ferris. If you spot that little red uh, area over on the side of the minimap that was just there, I believe that is the first squad of actual soldiers. Oh no, it's just the burglars. <laughs> but there are soldiers in this episode, I remember that. So I decided to just kill that guy. He was hanging out, he was punching out dudes. Problem solved. So I'm still looking around for that active infamy. I haven't decided on one just yet. I believe I might be explaining there that the uh, area here is going to be our research lab. When we get the research machine, maybe I'm explaining uh, how we intend to finish in these next few episodes that uh, quest to receive all the crime lords on your island, but I decide to do Burn National Park because it requires 10 guards and it has 10 notoriety and you need 70 to unlock Nigel Ewing. So we send off all those and I believe I decide to send Lord Kane as well. Yep. Off they go. Now you might wonder, if there's only 12 guards 
on the entire island. Why am I sending them all? Well, the reason I was sending them was because guards are very good at protecting each other. And there was ten of them, plus Lord Kane. So I was hoping that only a few of them would die on the mission. And then they'd all be able to come back and defend the base within a very short period of time. 